The question six is to solve physical problems involving velocity. Here we have to determine the initial conditions. Now a question is given an object is dropped from a height of 80 feet. You can see the height is the initial condition that is y of zero. That is the first uh, basic thing, okay? y, given function, it's y. When you derive this, you get its velocity. y dash is velocity. This is the initial velocity. If you double derive this, then you get the acceleration. This is basically the height. You know, you can write it a height or position. Then this is velocity or the speed. And this is the acceleration. Acceleration. So that's the thing. Now over here, what is given? Only the height is given. So it's why not of zero, that is 80 feet. That's it. Is the velocity mentioned? No, velocity is zero. What about over here? An object is dropped from a height of 100 feet. So the height is 100 feet. That is y naught of zero. Y naught of y, z, y of zero is 100. The velocity is not mentioned, so it's zero. Here, an object is released from a height of 80 feet with an upward velocity of 10 feet per second. This is, yes, 60 feet, fine, uh, which is the height. But they have told upward velocity going up. So plus 10 is y dash of zero. So this is plus 10. It's very important to mention the sign. And over here, you can see the height is 20 feet and downward velocity of minus 4 feet. So it's minus 4. So this is how we solve these problems. Again, I think so. This is the easiest of all. And even question 2 was very, very easy. I'll see you all in the next question.